Hi team, I am going to explain the one of the important topic related to interview questions, implementation and supporting projects. Example, we created primary ledger for Arbindo Pharma. Then ledger options we mentioned standard equivalent method as a subledger accounting method or convention accounting method. And we are implementing inventory application, procurement, accounts payable, and GL application. When we are going to do the testing for P2P, we need to understand as a option, as a functional consultant, financial, two types of item, inventory item at receipt equal as a seeded as a standard we will record ex, uh, receiving material debit accrued credit i release the one video one hour back related to inventory item when it comes to expense item this is the one of the important topics we have the two types of accounting one is the period end accrual and at received accounting. At a period end accrual, we have to take the as an example so that you can easily understand. Procurement user created PO with expense item, no general entry. But your accounting option is at a period end accrual. I created a PO, no general entry. I created a June month, no general entry. I created in AP within the June month, expense debit, liability credit. Then June month end, there is no period end accrual will be generated because invoice is already billed from me. There is no uninvoiced receipt for expense end. Second example, very, very important example. I created a PO, no general entry. I created GRM, no general entry. But June month, I did not receive the invoice from the vendor. I did not book the any invoice. So June month end, 30th holiday, client will close the books 28th or 29th. They will close the AP period. They will communicate to procurement team. Procurement team will run the, okay, this program as a standard program, create an invoice receipt technical infusion. System logically identify how many POs are there. POs having the receipts, which is an invoice receipts will generate expense debit expense AP accrual will be credited. That entry will be passed to the GL as a accrued entry. This is the one of important entry. That will go and posted in the GL. GL team will run the trial balance report. They will identify expense AP accrual nothing but uninvoiced general entry receives for expense set. Then July month first, we will be reverse the general entry, which is posted in the June month. That will become expense AP accrual debit, expense credit to make the zero. What Oracle recommending, you can use the general reverse criteria set that will assign it to ledger option. You can uh, see the automatic reversal in the July month. First question, why should I reverse the general entry in the July month? July month, you will get the invoice from the vendor. You will book the invoice. Expense will be debited, liability, credit. So before invoice booking, th that accrued entry should be reversed in the July 1st week, first day. 
if july month also not at received the invoice again july month end will be run the accrued entry then august first we will be reversing this is the continuation process suggested by varakil company which we need to understand test in the ebs and procurement and the client procurement team will run an invoice receipt accrual report how many receipts are generated not at invoice against the expense item you can identify the amount so this is the major interpretation we are seeing nowadays you guys can happily listen try to understand and explain in the interview model thank you